Hey friends, I'm so glad you could join me today. I want to share with you a new resource that I just saw and I thought this is pretty good. I like this, especially when children are coming and we're praying through the plan of salvation and they're accepting Christ, talking about baptism and even following him in baptism. We use like um, a curriculum that we can do as a class and uh, be it, it's called uh, now that I'm a Christian or I'm a Christian now and it's uh, with Lifeway. But I, I've been really impressed with this as something that, that boys and girls could do at home. It's called Notes from Jesus. And um, looks like it's a life tree type of book. So uh, mylifetree.com slash kids. Um, and it looks like Michael Kiefer might be, might be Michael Kiefer is um, the writer. He's a grandfather who authored more than 25 books for kids of all ages. His chief aim in life is snuggling his grandkids close as they can enjoy a good story together. Uh, it looks like group is putting this out, but um, it really, I think it's a great little book and it's full color. So it's something that you could share with kids who've made a decision. And there's a presentation page that you can write their name and present it to them. But let me just give you a little bit of an idea. There's like over 25 different um, little topics and each one is like two pages pretty, pretty bold infographic type thing. And then just simple lines to read. I'm sorry, that's hard to see on the, on the camera, but uh, let me give you a little bit of idea of what's in here. Cause I think I'd like to use this with our kids. So the table of contents says, um, I want to know, matter of fact, I'm going to turn the pages. So there's a little, a little letter uh, from Jesus and about getting to know you now and to know you better. Uh, our friendship. So he says, I want to know, I love, I want you to know, I love being with you. I want you to know, I like hearing you say you love me. I want you to know, I'm not surprised when you mess up. I want you to know, I'm just like you, but different. I want you to know, I, I know it's hard when you can't see me. Mm, that's a good one. Good question. I want you to know I don't care if you pray with your eyes open. Oh, I like that. I want you to know I'll find, uh, you'll find me in the Bible, all over the Bible. I want you to know we can laugh together. I want you to know I won't always give you what you ask for. I want you to know I don't just love you. I like you too. I've been actually reading and seeing a lot of great things about Mr. Rogers. And uh, I, I don't know if this interests you, but I thought he was fascinating. And Mr. Rogers said that he would go and see his grandfather on uh, the weekends, on Sunday. They would go after church, eat, and uh, they walked through the pasture and just had times together, just walking or enjoying each other. And he would say, I like you just the way you are. And I remember on his program, he said that all the time to children, I like you just the way you are. And his grandfather would also say when it's time to leave, he would tell him, you know what? Because of you, you made this day special for me. Thank you. And I thought, what a great, great thing. He was very close to his grandfather and words like that, oh, of course. And uh, I, I just challenge you to think about how you would say, I actually used it last Wednesday with one of the boys who has been missing a lot. He hasn't been there quite a bit. And uh, when I saw him, it was time to go. He's a fourth grader. And I just said, Jack, I love you. Um, no, I didn't say I love you because that's kind of creepy with a fourth grader. I said, Jack, I like you just the way you are. And if I'm going to tell the group that I love them, it's not creepy. If I tell all the fourth graders, hey, guys, I love you. I'm glad you're here. That's okay. But just to Jack, I said, Jack, I like you just the way you are. And you know what? He just smiled. He beamed. That was really cool. And it's about acceptance. And I think that's a big deal. Well, when you see all of the different things that are in this book, I think that you'll 
uh, you'll really enjoy some of the things. So I, I challenge you to check it out. You can probably see it at a Christian bookstore near you, or you can check it out online. Notes from Jesus. And it may be something that you want to use uh, with your kids. I think you ought to at least get a copy for yourself and maybe read it to a child. Uh, maybe one one little topic each day, because it's just a page. It's very, very easy. And uh, I think you're going to like it a lot. Well, be sure to check out all of the great things we're releasing now in Classroom Swag. Oh, my goodness. There are 20 pages of incredible stuff that you can just make copies of and hand it out to all of your workers. So it is a great little resource to make available to your teachers, and it will resource them in a big, big way. They'll, they'll think that you're handing out gold. Uh, those ideas, those games, the crafts, the, the uh, Bible skill things, all of that is so such great stuff to have on hand when you're trying to put together another great class with boys and girls. So you can check it out at classroomswag.com or actually just go right there on the sidebar and click uh, Classroom Swag and you can see all of it. We want to resource you because your life is a gift in kids ministry and we want you to make it count.